Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me for a brand new Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we are going to be taking a in-depth look at the new for 2023 Diecast Masters Highline Series 1-50 to scale Caterpillar D5 low ground pressure fire suppression dozer. If you're not familiar, this machine is used almost entirely to combat forest fires. It comes outfitted with a rear winch, a VPAT blade, low ground pressure undercarriage and tracks, as well as a forestry ROPS setup. To start the video, let's begin by unboxing it from the white outer shipping box. Cut the tape on one side, pull out the white nylon bag, which is protecting the metal tin. Once we've done that, we can get our first glimpse at the model inside because of the high quality photo rendering on it. 1 to 50 scale, ages 14 and up as these are adult collectibles. That's your item number or SKU number, once again, for reference. Both sides of the tin are identical with Diecast Masters Rear Replicas, Highline Series, and the item number again. The back of the tin shows the dozer in its natural environment, and that is combating forest fires. The left-hand side of the column on the back has some information about the real dozer. If you are into that kind of thing, please feel free to pause my video now. For the rest of us, before we pop the top, let's take a look at it. Again, another very high-quality photo of the bulldozer in a forest firefighting environment. Let's pop it open and see what awaits us inside. First, we have two pieces of documentation. One is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Catalog. I always encourage collectors to hang on to these. It acts as a little bit of a checklist. You can check off what models you have and maybe make a list of which ones you want to get in the future. And then the second piece of documentation is just a single-sided instructional sheet showing you how to place the operator in the cabin of the machine. I will go ahead and demonstrate that momentarily. Also found in the top piece of black foam rubber is a black plastic tweezers, which you can use to help put the operator figure in the cab. You don't really need it, but it's a nice inclusion nonetheless. Removing those two accessories, we see two finger holes. Stick your fingers in those finger holes, pull up on the black foam rubber. Finally, we can see the bulldozer in the bottom layer of black foam rubber. Be careful what you grab onto, especially on this model. There are a couple pieces of uh, potentially fragile and breakable pieces that could break with some mishandling. With a little bit of persuasion, the dozer finally pops out. One last bit of unboxing that you need to do is to remove the clear protection around the tracks. Those are there to ensure that the links don't separate during shipping. The only bit of assembly that is required for this model, and it's not even really required, it's totally optional, and that is if you want to put the operator figure inside the cab, you tilt forward the sweeps setup, grab your operator by its head, informing him exactly who's boss, stick him in the seat that he'll probably sit for the next 50 or 60 years, pull the sweeps and rop setup back, and lock him into position. Once you're done with that, you're ready to put your dozer to work. Let's begin the details and features portion of this video by taking a look at the very high quality CAT Modern Hex logos that can be found throughout the model. There's one here on the front of the radiator guarding. You see D5 here along with LGP for low ground pressure. CAT as well as several tie down points here for where you would tie this or, or chain this machine down on a low boy. Moving the dozer to the rear. We are greeted with another Cat Modern Hex graphic. On the right hand side, we find another Cat Modern Hex graphic, D5 LGP, as well as a trio of tie down location decals. All right, let's take a look at some of the casted in details now. Again, this is a fire suppression dozer and it is fully furnished as such. So we do have our fire protective guarding and sweeps. Again, that protects the operator and the machine from falling branches inside of a forest fire environment. We also have the VPAT blade. Now, one thing I would have liked to have seen on this model, which might be a little bit disappointing to other collectors, and that is the visibility perforations, easy for me to say, on the top portion of the blade are not drilled through, which again is very, very disappointing, especially because the pictures on the box indicate that the real machine has these visibility perforations cut through. On the bottom part of the blade, you do see some bolt detailing, which is nice to see. There's also some hoses going from the blade mechanism to the top portion of the engine cover. Again, a nice inclusion. The casted in details on top of the ROPs or the sweeps are very nice, including the hole where the exhaust exits. The back of it, you can see the air conditioning unit. The model features a few opening features, opening panels, such as this engine service bay, 
the one on the corresponding side, as well as the cab doors that open, and I will touch on that during functionality. To wrap up the details and decals, if we look at the rear of the dozer, you can see a large winch that is supplied, again, utilized for pulling some fallen trees or logs out of the way. A hand shovel accessory is included, the black filler cap lids for your different fluids, a folding down access stair, which is nice to see. And last but not least, if you want to see what the chassis of the machine looks like, there you go. You can see how it is assembled along with the Diecast Masters logo, as well as bolt detailing on each of the tracks. That's the details and decals. Let's transition now to functionality. To begin the features test of this model, you can see that the tracks are linked together and they will roll freely in either direction. Also, if you have a surface that does have a little bit of friction, unlike the white review table, the tracks will roll freely as well. I already showed you one of the working features, and that is the ability for the whole cab protection set up to suite four if you want to put the operator inside the cab. At the rear, we are greeted with a non-functional winch, but what does function is the folding down access stair, and again, that's very nice that they have included that accessory. Moving around, we will begin to take a look at the opening doors feature on this model. As I said, there are two engine service panels on each side for a total of two. So we'll use our pointer, get this one open, and you can see the detailed components inside. Let's move around and do the other side. Again, very similar, but they are different on both sides of the model. Also, if you want the cab doors to open, open them from the inside. I feel I find that to be the easiest solution. So there you go. That is as wide as they will open. As you can see it facing forward, you can see you get a good degree of angle for the doors. We'll close those back shut. Now we need to take a look at the blade functionality. This is a VPAT blade setup or a six-way blade setup. So it will go up to a height of here, which again is perhaps a bit shallow and could be a whole lot better. It will go down to a depth of here, which is slightly below the machine. Those are two of the six ways. It can turn to the left or turn to the right. That's four of the six ways. And the last two ways of the six-way blade is that it can tilt to the right or to the left. And there is a fair bit of angle there, again, which is really, really good to see. All right, let's see what this machine looks like on a 150th scale low boy trailer. As you can see, we have the D5 on the Diecast Masters XL120HDG low boy trailer, and it does make a pretty convincing load. Because it is a low ground pressure machine, the tracks are extra wide, the blade is wide, so it will hang over both sides. So you really and truly have an honest oversized load display. That'll bring this Diecast Emporium video to a conclusion. So let's make a summary and overall impression of this model. Overall, I have to highly recommend this. I think this is a fantastic addition to their 150th scale line of Caterpillar equipment. It's really the first time ever through any Caterpillar licensee that we have a 150th scale proper fire suppression dozer. You can put it in a forest fire diorama with the machine making some fire breaks, or you can have it on a low boy trailer as seen, or even in a Caterpillar dealership. The model is well built and has enough working features for it to justify the price. Overall, I'd have to get this, give this model a solid 9 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to us here on Diecast Emporium so you never miss a single upload. And until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.